Hey guys, me who's Superstar, thank you very much for tuning in, look what I got! It's Ula and Crumb. This is from The Power of the Force Line by Kenna, and it's another retro action figure review. You guys were asking for more retro stuff on the channel, uh, so here we go. Bear with me as we're going through the review today, you may see me taking many drinks of water, I'm going to try and get through this as best I can. I am currently recovering from fluid COVID crap, so bear with me, I feel a bit better today. So, I fancied making a video, but I am still recovering, so bear with me if I start sounding out of breath and stopping. <laughs> but this is from the Power of the Force line, this was something I wanted for so long. As you can see on my wall, I actually met Ula at one of the last conventions I was at, and I wish I had this figure for her to sign then. I picked this up at York, in one of the vintage um, sort of toy shops they have down there. Um, it was like an antique store, but on the lower floor they had a load of vintage old Star Warsy stuff. I know you can't really call this vintage, but it all, it's not vintage yet, but you know what I'm saying. Old Star Wars figures. <clears throat> and I got this for £25, which is not bad to say it's uh, relatively still sealed, or someone at least has resealed it. It's covered in sellotape holding it together. But um, yeah, 25 quid for Ula and Crumb, which I'm not too mad at. Um, I've seen this go for a lot more online, especially with the box, so... We're gonna find a nice neat way of opening this and we're gonna take them out and have a closer look. So let's open up Ula and Crumb. Okay, and we do have our slave Leia watching in the background there as well. These are both characters that may never ever see the light of day ever again. Uh, but looking at the box art, first of all, I do like the Power of the Force Darth Vader logo in the top corner. I was always partial to the Power of the Force line. It was the line that, this is like was around when I was a kid. So I always remember this line. Um, then we've got the Kenner series there, Kenner collection. I'm not sure that is, all in different languages on the side there. Star Wars 1998 Lucasfilms, so and 1998 this is from. It's pretty cool. Kind of logo on the back there. Okay. I think the best way to do this, probably maybe from the bottom. So let's do that. I have got my trusty little snip snips. I'm going to quickly glide across there and open that up. I don't know why I'm pretending like I'm ever going to repackage this. I'm just being gentle because normally when I open these things and I get a bit rough, people in the comments start crying. Here we go. I like the box insert as well. That's nice. That might be nice for photos, for figures, to be honest. Because I can put things in there now. Like that. Ah, that's a nice way of some photos, I think. I'm going to keep that little box. So here she is, guys. Let's take her out. Wow. First of all, we finally got a little crumb. And he looks decent. Uh, his eyes are kind of okay. There is a little smudge there on his right eye. But it's okay. It looks good. Paintwork on this is pretty decent. Sorry, I just had to stop, recatch my breath, and have a coughing fit. Um, there we go. Yes, yeah, so I mean, the paint apps on this are pretty decent. He doesn't have display peg holes or anything. Um, I don't think he's going to stand up, is he? No, is he? He's, he's made for perching. And obviously, they, they released that jabber with his um, sort of like thing that he sits on. So that that would sit nicely against jabber or on the side of it or something. I still need to get hold of the creatures pack for a black series so I can get a six inch version. So I'm still I'm still on the hunt for a six inch version of Crumb. So if anybody's got a six inch version of Crumb or has the creatures pack and is willing to split one of their Lizard monkeys, I would love to have one. Because that's the only, the, the little salacious rums, crumbs, whatever you want to call them, they're the only ones that are that box set that I even need in Black Series, you know. The rest of them I have from different sets. And here she is, it's Ula herself. She also has the uh, sort of like lead collar thing on there, just like um, Slave Leia, except hers is actually stuck to her neck. Um, there's no way of removing this one. Like Slave Layers, if you pop the head off, you can take the whole collar off. This is actually moulded onto her, so you're stuck with that sort of at the front. I do like her costume though, very cool. They've used actual cloth on the legs, uh, which is very nice. 
Let me stretch that out. Yeah, you can sort of lift that up a little bit more. It's fallen down over the years, but yeah, you can stretch these out a little bit more. There we go. But yeah, it looks just like the costume. So, I mean, they've done a great job of bringing that to life. This is a 5 POA figure, so we're not expecting too much from this. Legs can lift forward and backwards. Arms move up and down. I am very gentle with these, just because obviously the first time these have moved in years. I don't, I'm not sure what what's happened in that box. So, being very careful. She does have display peg holes in the bottom of her feet, so you can use a display base. And the head moves from side to side as well. There's actually a little bit more movement in the head, actually, than normal, so that's nice. And obviously, I love the long tendrils as well. So definitely, all in all, this is a good all-round fig, and I'm glad I got her, on, in all honesty, because this is definitely worth having in the collection. Why won't they release her in 6-inch? That would be so cool, especially with Return of the Jedi right around the corner. Um... <laughs> the need to release her again. I've actually got some more Power of the Force stuff coming from Return of the Jedi very soon, so stay tuned to the channel as I will have more retro reviews on, because I am enjoying collecting the old 5POA stuff. So if you want to continue to see 5POA on this channel, please let me know, because I do have a lot more planned. If we stand them together, obviously with Slave Leia as well, because I was, I was actually wondering what if they were the same mould, but I don't think they are. They are very different, I think, with different heights. So, yeah, Leia's a little bit taller. Could just be the stand she's in, though. But, um, yeah, I don't think they're the same. I was, I was wondering, because obviously they're both, like, the like semi-naked body. I wondered if they'd use the same mold, but, like, Ula's thighs are a bit bigger. So, yeah, it's a very, it is a different, different mold altogether. But they do look cool together. It's nice to have Ula and Slave Leia now. Obviously, they're never going to re-release these. I don't think. I would love them to. But I don't think we're ever, ever likely to see these two again. But of course, we've got a little... Oh, no. <laughs> we have a little salacious to go with them as well. Can they sit on top of the box? Nope. <laughs> Can you sit on the corner? Nope. <laughs> you are useless, you little salacious. Sit somewhere. Nope. You got an annoying little puppet. You're as annoying as the puppet that I bought in Florida. <laughs> so yeah, all in all, not bad. Definitely worth having. And I'm so glad I finally have her in my collection. But guys, what are your thoughts on this figure? Let us know in the comments below. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed making it for you. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us, it really helps out and helps us to keep making awesome videos like this. To all the new people that have joined the channel recently, we had a little boom again of subscribers, so that's very welcome and welcome aboard to everyone that is new to the channel. I really do appreciate each and every single one of you. So, thank you for joining our weird and wonderful world of Star Wars. <clears throat> I have some great videos coming up over the course of the next week. I should have some deliveries finally in hand by Monday morning, and I should be feeling a lot better by then as well. Another day's rest. I should hopefully be feeling very, very good to do that video, because it's going to be a long one, and it's going to be a big haul, so I'm really excited for that. And then over the course of a, of a few days, we've got a, not a Star Wars unboxing, but it's an unboxing from Hasbro, from another product line. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, being sent a big box of something from Hasbro. So excited. Uh, not Star Wars though, sadly. Uh, there's no Star Wars pro project right now to get in on, but um, I have got something coming. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, we've got um, oh, we've got a new subscription box service that's Star Wars related to look at. And what other hints have I got? No, I think that was it. You know, but we've got plenty of action figures to unbox, and I'm really excited. So there's going to be a ton of content coming up over the next week. So I need to get fit and healthy because I've got a lot of content to film and I'm excited about it and I hope you guys are too. So thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Soup, so I'll see you in the next video. But until then, may the force be with you. I should not have done that voice. <laughs>